Hey everyone, it's Shireen and welcome back to my channel. So I have some great news. My orders finally came in on Friday, so I get to do this holiday unboxing for you right before the holiday. But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please click that subscribe button down below. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. If you know about a site called Mimibox.com, you know that they used to sell vault boxes that had hand-picked K-beauty products that correlated with like a specific theme. For example, they had boxes with products specifically for oily skin, dry skin, sensitive skin. They had holiday themed boxes, brand specific boxes, and etc. And I love them. I bought so many of them. But unfortunately, they don't sell them anymore and my heart broke when I found that out. But thank God I found another website called w2beauty.com and I'll link that down below for you guys. But they just started making their own vault or K-Beauty boxes. In today's video, I'll be showing what came inside of their K-Beauty box number 14, Skin Tricks and Skin Treats, which is kind of like their fall and holiday or Halloween themed box. This box sells for $35 on their website and comes with about five products. So it's a, it's a smaller box with four out of the five products being sheet masks. And on the website, the box description reads that Halloween is coming, but for K-Beauty fans, no ghost or zombie is as scary as the specter of lackluster skin, which is why we hope you kill two monsters with one stone by treating your skin while you pass out candy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I won't be wearing a sheet mask while passing out candy, but can you imagine how hilarious that would be <laughs> to answer the door, just have this like crazy sheet mask on. When I ordered this box, I ordered it with another box and a couple other items, so it all came in one big box. So I actually pulled out all of the um, skin tricks and skin treats products. I have them laid out here on the table. And the first one I'm gonna show you is by Tiam. It is their Trouble Drying Pink Bubble Pack. And this mask helps to remove pore clogging sebum and other impurities to prevent your skin from becoming super oily. It's also supposed to help gently remove the dead skin cells without irritation, soothe weak or sensitive skin while helping build a stronger skin barrier. It has moisture hydration energy to help balance the moisture in the skin without over drying. And it says that it has natural ingredients such as oxygen and other minerals to help with pore elasticity. And the four major ingredients in this mask are gonna be calamine, bentonite, centipede extract, and tea tree leaf. Now I've never heard of centipede extract, but that's pretty unique. So that makes me a little excited. I might have to do a little more research on what exactly centipede extract is, but it seems interesting. So with any mask, you're gonna put this on a clean, fresh face, and then apparently pink bubbles are supposed to appear, and once they do, you massage it in the skin, leave it on for five to 10 minutes, and then rinse with lukewarm water. And they recommend that you use this about two to three times a week. Yeah, I, I think I might open it. I'm gonna try and test it out here for you guys really quick. So give me one sec. Ooh, cute. So here's the, wow, that light is so bright, holy cow. But here's the packaging. Very simple, just pink, white, and then let's open it. It has kind of like a light, sweet smell. I can't really put my finger on what exactly it smells like, but it's pink, which is, you know, anything with calamine in it usually is gonna have a pink color, but I'm gonna try this on the back of my hand for you guys really fast, so. Ooh, smooth. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of the pink clay botanical or the botanical pink clay mask by Bone Vivant. That pink color and I think that also has calamine in it as well. But we're gonna rub this. Oops, let me get a little bit closer for you guys. Okay, I think you're supposed to just let it sit, but I'll keep my hand right here for you guys. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, I barely even have to touch the bubbles already forming. And then you're just supposed to... Ooh, do you guys hear that? <laughs> oh wow, it's really foaming up. Can you guys see that? Yeah, okay. Simple. Okay, cute. So yeah, very foamy. The smell isn't overpowering, but it, it definitely has a fragrance to it. Oh no, God, okay, look, <laughs> I touched it and now it's starting to bubble up where I touched it. I'm, I'm wondering if you probably might want to use a, like a little spoon. 
I know that most eye creams come with the spoon, so if you have like an extra little spoon or even just an eye spoon, you know, sanitize that and then I would probably use that to scoop this out with because it looks like just by touching it activates all the bubbles in it, but so pretty cool. Holy cow, it's still bubbling up. Holy cow. That's so cool! I'm so excited to try this one. And next up in the box, they have the Eclato Gold Essential Mask, and it's actually a two-piece sheet mask, and it's supposed to help effectively regenerate skin and help reduce the visible and invisible signs of aging. It also has 24 karat gold, like real, actual 24 karat gold in it. And gold is supposed to have the ability to help firm skin, reduce inflammation, and increase blood circulation. And this mask has six herb extracts, including lavender, chamomile, and purslane, which has antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. This is also supposed to help soothe and calm skin from oxidative damage from UV rays and pollution. It also has hyaluronic acid to help draw in moisture and keep the skin hydrated. But what is unique about the mask is they say that it has little flaps that you can place over your eyelids and your lips so that those also get the benefits of the mask and it's supposed to leave a matte finish as well so you're not supposed to come out looking super shiny. <laughs> so again with any sheet mask you're gonna cleanse and tone your face, use all your essences and then you'll put this on and wear it for about 10 to 20 minutes, remove and then pat in the remaining essence. And I'm not gonna try on any of the sheet masks, this is just an unboxing, but if you guys want a little mini review, I will be posting those reviews in my beauty group on Facebook, and it's called the Korean Beauty Review, and I'll go ahead and I'll link that down below. But I'll be trying all these masks throughout the week and leave and writing little reviews and posting them in that group for you guys. And this is probably the coolest looking one or the one that I'm most excited to try just because it looks the most different. Well, actually, I take that back. They're all a little bit cool. But, <laughs> but this is by Etude House. This is their Black Hydrogel eye patch and this eye patch is supposed to help firm and brighten the delicate skin around your eyes using its anti-wrinkle and whitening formula with niacinamide and other botanical extracts. It even says on the back here it says the eye goggle patch makes skin around the eyes elastic and bright with its dual function of anti-wrinkle and whitening. The closely adhering Vaseline and oil gel provides abundant moisture and nourishment to tired skin around the eyes. Again, after cleansing and toning, you're gonna leave this on for 30 minutes and then pat in the remaining essence around the eye area. The fourth item in this box, also the third sheet mask included, is by Goodall, and this is their Black Charcoal Sparkling Clear Mask. And it's actually just half a mask. It's literally just the bottom half of your face. That's all it's for. And they describe it on the website as a ninja mask. So I guess that's how they kind of incorporated it into their Halloween theme. This is supposed to be a super easy foaming mask that's infused with Binchil Chen black charcoal extract and Chojong mineral water to help refine your pores and clear out blackheads. And if you've ever used any other beauty products with charcoal, you know that charcoal is going to help, or it's gonna act as a magnet to draw out a lot of those impurities out of your skin. And that's exactly what it does in this mask. So it's gonna draw out all that dirt and excess sebum out of your pores, but it's supposed to also moisturize and refine them. But in addition to the black charcoal that's in this mask, it also includes orange, apple, lime, lemon, and grapefruit extract to help fight free radicals, exfoliate your skin, even the skin tone, and provide antibacterial benefits, so this is a good mask for those who are acne prone. After washing and toning your face, they suggest that even before using it, you're supposed to like pinch and like roll the package to help evenly disperse the essence across the entire mask. You'll apply this just to the lower half of your face. You'll allow it to foam up for about 10 minutes, then you'll remove it, massage that foam into your skin and then you'll actually rinse with lukewarm water. And then finally, last but not least in this box, it is a sheet mask by Skin Food and this is their Royal Honey Propolis Shield Mask Sheet. This is supposed to be a really innovative sheet mask because it uses foil. It's a foil sheet mask and featuring a half bottle of full propolis essence, this is gonna help build a firm and strong skin barrier. And apparently the foil is supposed to help keep the essence from evaporating into the air. And the foil also creates a protective barrier that's gonna help the essence to really, really deeply penetrate the skin and maintain that moisture. And then again, after cleansing and toning your face, you'll wear this for about 15 to 20 minutes, remove it, and then pat the remaining essence into your skin. And that's it for this box, you guys. I'm gonna be trying all these masks on throughout the week, and I will be writing up mini reviews and posting those to my beauty group on Facebook, and I'll link that down below for you guys. But don't forget to click that subscribe button for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.